Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Meteor Fall Crewmit's Tale. So, this is kind of an interesting game for me, because uh, it's based on a roguelike on, I think, iOS and maybe Android. Okay, uh, thanks for trying Meteor Fall Crewmit's Tale. Early access, okay, also means your ideas and feedback will be useful. Good to know. Anyway, uh, so this is this is based on a roguelike on iOS and maybe Android that I got access to years ago, but could never properly record. So I'd talk about it, but I couldn't actually like do anything with it, which kind of sucked because it's a really solid deck builder roguelike, and I always felt kind of bad because it's like I'd like to actually you know play more of this, and then I just was on Twitter, watched the uh, developer put up some gifts of this guy, and I'm like, wait a second. Oh, you're actually making a game that's not just going to be on mobile. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. So, I guess let's just begin. Choose a hero. Hmm? Ah, Bruno. So headstrong. <laughs> it's like a weird... It, it is absolutely Adventure Time art style, but like, more goofy? Maybe. Okay, the basics. I want to... Okay. <laughs> clear the dungeon. Dungeon is clear when no cards remain in the deck. Dungeon is created by shuffling together your items and abilities with vagabonds and monsters, then dealing them out on, into a grid. Tap a foe to initiate combat if you dare. Stop remaining health... Dies. Okay, remaining health and that of your opponent is indicated by the heart icon. Attack is indicated by a yellow diamond. You can see what the enemy intends to do based on the bubble above their head. In this case, the enemy is about to perform a single attack, but others might also block, inflict poison, or glare angrily at you. God, I love the animation of this skeleton. It's so creepy. Tap the green button to teach them a lesson. You see, both you and your foe attack. You'll always attack first, unless the enemy politely declares an ambush. Fight on and vanquish this varmint. <laughs> Defeating foes gives you one gold, but that's not the only way to earn your fortune. You can also earn gold by discarding tiles you don't need. Tap the sword. Discarding a tile gives you one gold and also restores two health. Discard this tile now. Now you've earned some gold, you can acquire a shiny new tile. Tiles can include items, weapons, armor, potions, and abilities. I spawned a few more tiles for you to take a look at. Now let's acquire some. Normally you'll need to fight monsters or discard tiles to earn gold. But I've got some spare change lying around. Spend it wisely. Okay, slash. Increase damage of your next attack by three. Exhaust requires weapon. Another short sword. Cool. Okay, all tiles have a gold cost that must be paid to acquire them. Boop the green button to acquire the tile and add it to your inventory. Again for the other items until you've collected all of them. Fortuitous. Okay, huzzah! Now that you have some tiles to play with, let's test them on a more daunting foe. Engage your foe, and good luck. More fearsome foes will require you to, you to use items and abilities. Dippity tap your sword to equip it. Your weapon has increased your attack to three. You can unequip weapons by tapping them again. Foe must be scared to attack, so there's no need to block. Let's take the fight to them. Using an item reduces its durability, indicated by the dots on the tile. Tiles are destroyed when they're out of dots. Your foe is four block, which will turn this turn, which will render your attack useless. Attacking with your sword in this case will waste durability, so put it down for now. Looks like this dastard is about to hit with a big attack for five damage. Tap your chainmail to equip it and soak up the pain. Block reduces damage taken, but only for the round in which you use it. What are you waiting for? Attack again. Oh, so I don't have a defend action. Okay. Ouchie, you took some damage, but you can finish the battle now. Take up your sword. And equip Slash. Slash is an ability. Abilities usually modify an attack made with weapon, or target enemies ba uh, targeting enemies on the board directly. Slash increases your attack by three, but only if you have a weapon equi equipped. Slash also has the exhaust keyword, meaning it's destroyed after use. Enough talking, finish him. Well... Done, well done. I'll heal you up, and then fill the board one more time. You're on your own now. Clear the board and make me stop worrying. I mean, make me proud. Okay. So... So I can't sell one of these. I can just discard tiles. Hit it. Okay, so... I have zero gold, 
Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Uh, I got... I don't have much. I guess I could get rid of some of the equipment. Am I still injured? No. So I'm just going to go after the skeleton and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I've lost my equipment. And I got to pay attention to what their general plans are. Oh, interesting. It fell down after I kill it, killed him. I... I I wonder if there's some kind of Tetris mechanic here. Okay, so now he's only going to hit me for one. It's not so bad. We'll get through it. Okay, so healing... Hmm. I'm just going to hit these guys. We might want to just sell some of the equipment. I'll probably go for this sword and shield or... I don't know. I'm not going to survive the next encounter, so i got to at least buy a little bit. Let's sell this chainmail. Sweet relief. And that will be needed. Buy the sword and the armor. Can I sell slash? Sweet relief. I'm just gonna do that. I guess actually getting slash and a sword. Eh, it's all okay. We're just going after this guy. Okay, so he's gonna hit me for two. Let's just preserve. I don't entirely know what happens after I clear all these enemies. But it's okay. Excellent, you've proven to be a quick learner. I have no doubt you're ready for a real dungeon now. Hey, okay, begin quest. And let's try this properly. There's also a wizard, but we can't we can't whiz. So next oh, next reward is Captain's cut Cutlass. Oh. The Gobloids are a tragic, filthy race, doomed by their stench to live as outcasts, forever shunned. What if they can still s uh, if they can smell each other? Hmm. Filthy gobloid town. Okay, when you acquire this, gain two gold. Let's see, health file, bucket helm. It's okay. I don't know how much damage these guys do. I guess we're just gonna fight one first and find out. It's a bliss attack. They'll attack before you. Do all of them have that? They do, and they actually hit pretty hard. Oh. Just picking up an item heals me. I didn't realize that. Okay. So these guys hurt. Crush them. I'm just gonna fight this guy. I will automatically take three damage fighting every single one of them, but maybe we'll see how it goes. Okay, so what a find. acquire the chainmail. Acquire the bucket helm. It's cheap. It heals me. We have that healing potion sitting around there. Okay, this makes sense. Can I equip both of these? Block is. Enough to completely negate your opponent's attack. This means you'll parry. When you parry an opponent's attack, they'll be stunned and miss their next action. Oh. You stunned your foe. They won't get to attack during this round. Oop. Okay. Oh. Nice thing is the bucket helmet has slightly more durability than I'm rolling. Cool. Also, these guys' is art. The art for them... I... Uh, it's not comfortable. Alright. Let's heal up a bit more. Throw this on. Yeah, I don't need the sword. I'm just gonna go for the parries. Sadly, no more bucket helm. The question is, do I do anything else? Honestly, I'm just gonna unequip the armor and just take the hit from this guy. Because they're not actually that dangerous. Oh. A cause for celebration. Victory. Max deck size plus two. Reward. 20 gems. Un unused what item bonus. 35. Mint candies. Increase your damage by three. Take damage twice to recharge. Oh. Can be used indefinitely. Okay. Used to restore one health. Whenever you discard a tile, restore one durability. 
The range. Deal two piercing damage to target enemy in the top or middle row. Choose We're going to go for the Healy thing. And a blessing. Whenever you acquire an ability, restore health. Well, you have at least four block gain thorns. Deal additional damage to stun enemies or base cost of all your abilities is two. I'm going to just go balanced. Okay, coming up next. Underground cults. Okay, so I don't know. Deathblow Katana. Only be equipped immediately after pairing an enemy attack. Interesting. I like these. After your opponent attacks to restore health equal to your base attack. Once per battle, deal damage to enemy equal to your block. Reduce the durability of equipped items by one. Do your base damage to target enemy in the bottom row and gain a gold. Exhaust. I mean, this seems worth it. Two piercing damage to the target enemy in the top or middle row. It's kind of expensive. I'm going to buy the helmet. Okay. And we're going to get rid of one of the swords. It's probably a bad idea. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay, so cultist. I we'll figure out how this goes. So I don't know if there's a meta progression system or if it's just a mid run meta progression system. I guess we'll find Oh, I see. Different fly I get it. Underground cult meetup. Ah, these new guys. I was hanging out here before. Anyone else even knew about it? Oh, Deathmaster K. Alright, whatever. We'll figure this out. Okay, so we got... We got Skeleton. I have no gold. I could get some gold by... Well, let's grab the treasure chest. Treasure chest gets me sword. Finders keepers. Okay. Start... Oh. Start going after the boner men. You made it look easy. Okay, we've got cultists. We got some other things. I guess I'm gonna grab the uh, the flask. Will be needed. For your health. Okay, I'm gonna grab these. We have slash. That's very expensive. I almost think I should probably sell those. I don't have enough money. Splatted. Okay, so let's let's sword this guy. Okay, this will this will just kill him. And what do we do? I'm gonna buy a chainmail. I've taken a, I've taken a decent amount of damage here. I'm gonna undo this. We're gonna hit this guy. Put on the chainmail. Parry his a hit. Which stuns him. And then I can just hit him two times. Perfect. So, the secret to fighting skeletons is probably armor more than swords. I don't know what this guy has. Hmm. That's a little hurty. I could get the demon's blood. Alternatively, we could just fight this guy. Oh, I see. He hurts himself. I understand. Also, charge is not as good as I thought it was going to be. I thought it had a zero gold cost, but it has a two gold cost. Hmm. I just don't need the extra health. Okay, we're just gonna fight this guy. Okay, so he kills himself. Not much I can do about it. Oh, I wasted my armor. All right, whatever. Okay. So, 
I can sell the charge. Sweet relief. Buy the helmet. Will be the helmet will let me parry these guys and wreck their faces. Strategize. Okay, so if I do this, I parry. He hurts himself. Take that off. Uh, let's see. We'll just hit him twice because he can do nothing. Heck yeah, parry. Too easy. Okay, then we want to hold off on Demon's Blood Helm at least for a little bit. Crush them. Let's see. I've got two gold. I could get the chainmail. Oh, but I don't. I don't need it. I'm doing fine. Let's just fight the skeleton. They do significantly less damage to me than the cultists do. So I'm gonna prep ahead for them a little. Okay, next up with the cultist. Put on the helm, hit him, parry him, and we're all good. Okay, I'm really appreciating what this game is about. It's simple, it reminds me of a completely different deck builder that I played a while back. Okay, I've got eight health. I guess if I use this, I'll survive. I'm 90% certain I'll survive. Because he's going to hit me for four. And then four. Yeah. Because I'm trying to get as many of those gems as possible. Okay, and he kills himself. I'm at one HP. And we get all sorts of things. Oh! Celebration! We still get unused item bonus for uh, things in my inventory. Okay, that's actually really helpful to know. Okay, so max deck size plus two. Treasure. When you activate this, deactivate any active weapons or restore durability of all armor in your inventory to full and increase the block value by two. Let's grab armor up. Choose that sounds wisely. really good. Let's see. Gain additional health when discarding a tile. Whenever you start a dungeon, shuffle two random abilities into the dungeon deck. Let's do that. I'm gonna get wrecked. But so be it. Okay, so what do we what do we got here? Once per battle, when you get in it when you attack with a weapon, also gain six block. That's actually pretty good. The end of each round in battle increases this weapon's damage by one. Octo's arm resets after battle. That's pretty good. What's this one do? Fire target weapon costs two or less and add an additional copy to your inventory. I've got enough. Let's buy dual wield and deflect. And let's get rid of something. Honestly, I'm gonna get rid of the bucket helm at this point. It was lovely, but I don't need it as much. Cool. So yeah, dual wield plus that block ability and a couple other things would be amazing. I just gotta actually pick them up and, and use them. Okay, roll up to Bramble's Arena for the most barbaric fights in town. Clearly legal, Shadrat, Arena Crier. Okay, I want to check options for a second. Aha! I'm going to turn that down a bit. Okay, so Bramble's <laughs> Arena. Oh, there's a boss. In Bramble's Arena, discarding tiles no longer heals, but enemies give plus one gold when defeated. Bramble, King of the Barbarians, is also a connoisseur of battle royales. Adventurers come from all over the world to seek glory and titillation is in his arena. Okay, so we have dual wheel, gobloid. Okay, let me think.
Let's fight the peasant. Two arms. Okay, so piercing attack block will be ignored. Okay, so the peasant... <laughs> Boy, jiggle physics. The peasant isn't too bad. Feeling good. Pierce is kind of rough, but that's okay. Okay, so we got another... Dual wield. Hmm. Because I like the idea of dual wield. But I don't have any swords yet. I could fight the gobloid. He hurts. I have, like, no healing. I'm gonna... Trash charge. See if we get something else. All the war bears bow to Bramble. Okay, so Arena Master Bramble, step into my arena, champion. Prove that you're worthy of a chicken dinner. I'm very, I'm very boned. Well, let's grab the chainmail. I don't know if it's immediately or amazingly that useful. I'm just gonna fight this guy. I was considering trying to use Slash to deal with him, but. Didn't really seem worth it. Okay, we get that. We get a lot of bears. Next card is going to be that. We wanna stack up on. Let's grab. Dual Wield. Okay, there we go. Armor up, restore the durability of all armor in your inventory to full and increase the block value by two. Ah, sweet relief. Okay, so there's the flask You're of rehydration. Ah, which is good, we kinda needed relief. that. So now we got a little bit more. Uh, I don't know if I have any other weapons. So what I'm gonna do is Let's buy Deflect. Oh. You can only have four. What a find. That's unfortunate. Okay, do we just Blitz Bramble? Blitz and Bramble. It's it. I'm probably going to die. Not much I could have really done about this. Eh, there's a couple of things. Okay, he's gonna do smidgens of damage to me. Okay, he's just... He's just armoring up. He's got armor. I could flee. I'm just gonna hit him. I, I'm probably dead. This does not surprise me in the slightest. Okay. I just don't have good enough equipment to get past this guy. I figured I'd just kind of deal with it. Uh, let's see. Well, at least we got him with a parry. But that's about all I got. I got him down a fair bit, but still. How vexing. Alas, all good things must come to an end, including your journey. You start each run from the first dungeon, but you'll keep that EXP that can be used to unlock new tiles. Alright, did I get the Captain's Cutlass? We, just in general, I, I need better weapons and equipment. And I will learn. This is cool, though. Super solid roguelike. I probably am just going to stream a whole bunch of this starting today. But I wanted to get an episode out a little early. So do we do Dusty Basement again? Yeah, probably. Well, I mean, it's not like I have much of a choice. Oof. Looks like it's going to be a long road to victory here. But I guess that's okay. I guess the next time we come into the boss, if I don't have any better weapons, what I'm probably going to do is just, uh... Try and clear everything else first. Even if I'm not going to win, it'll at least probably give me a little bit more EXP. A lot more, if I'm lucky. Uh, let's see, I just want to check something. How long have we we've been going for? The problem is we've been going for like 25 minutes. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to keep each episode a run until they start getting kind of long. I'm going to get faster as we go to, but I got a breakfast burrito downstairs and I'm starving. And also, I just want to I want to share this 
live as well. So, it's a bit of a short first episode, but that's not actually a bad thing. Because this game's kind of bite-sized in its own way. I I think it's going to be launching on... I know it's going to be launching on Steam, because that's where I've got it. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be launching on mobile at some point. Maybe simultaneously? It certainly feels like the kind of game that you could load up on an iPad or even your phone for a while. And just... Yeah, kick ass for a little while. I don't know. And I guess I should also mention, uh, Meteor Fall itself, the, uh, the first game in the series, is already available. So if this looks cool, you're more than welcome to pick it, uh, pick it up and, and play it if you've got the proper mobile device. Or, like, maybe Blue Stacks. I'm not entirely sure. The last thing I was going to say is, uh, this game will be available on November 6th, I believe. And it'll be going into Steam Early Access. We had that at the very beginning of the video. And so that means, you know, there are going to be some bugs, some missing content. But, like, as far as I've seen so far, it's... <laughs> Redundancy is good. Uh, it looks like a complete game. And the only thing I could say about it so far that bugs me is this black background. I feel like this should be a table or something. And that's such a minor quibble, like, who cares? <laughs> uh, but still. Like, as far as early access roguelikes go, this looks really, really close to completion, so he could have just said, like, yeah, it's 1.0, and I would have believed him. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess with this, I will see you guys on the next episode of Meteor Fall, Crewmate's Tale, and as always, thanks for watching.